Good afternoon, Royals. We are gathered here today on the traditional and unceded territory of the Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh nations. As settlers, we value the opportunity to learn, share, and grow on this traditional territory. Last week, the Tukamloops Te Sequepem First Nation shared the devastating and tragic news that the remains of 215 Indigenous children were located in an unmarked grave at the site of the former Kamloops Indian Residential School. As a school community, we are devastated and heartbroken with this news. The impact of this tragedy is far reaching and our hearts go out to the Indigenous students, all members of the North Vancouver District, Indigenous members of the North Vancouver community and Indigenous peoples throughout Canada. To honour the 215 children who suffered unimaginable trauma and harm at this former residential school in Kamloops and their families and communities who are in mourning, we are taking the following steps as a school community. First, starting Monday and in alignment with schools across the country, Hensworth has, lower, has lowered the Canadian flag to half-mast. The school team has also worked to provide information, education and support for all members of the school community. Today, Wednesday, June 2nd, all members of the Hansworth School community were encouraged to wear orange. This morning, a small group of students, staff, and parents gathered here at the Welcome Pole for a prayer and ceremonial smudge led by Donna Sorensen, a member of Y dialect Cree, Michelle First Nation. As you came in this morning, you may have also noticed the orange ribbons at the front entrance of the school near this Welcome Pole. These 215 orange ribbons represent each of the children who did not come home. It is important to acknowledge that while both our school and society in general is speaking about these 215 children, we know that there are many more lost children whose remains have yet to be found. Although we are marking this recent discovery today with orange shirts and orange ribbons outside the school, the path towards truth and reconciliation is a journey. And as a school community and a society at large, we have much work to do. This is only the beginning. Before we let you go, there are a few pieces of context that need to be shared. First, this recent news, news that comes as a shock, but does not come as a surprise to Indigenous communities who have lived the residential school experience really underscores the work that we must all be willing to do to understand and appreciate the full authentic history of Canada's treatment of Indigenous people. Residential school survivors have been speaking for many years about the existence of these kinds of unmarked graves at residential schools all across Canada. As a society, we must really begin to listen to residential school survivors and Indigenous people in general. Secondly, it is our responsibility to hold these conversations with compassion and dignity, but we also have to acknowledge that this is not just history, this is now. The last residential school only closed in 1996, and survivors and their families still live, live with the very real and lasting impacts of the trauma inflicted by the residential school experience. Indigenous communities still face systemic racism and Indigenous women are 12 times more likely to be murdered or go missing than any other women in Canada. We understand that confronting this truth can be extremely difficult. We want you to know that there are lots of people here to support you. Your teachers, counselors, support staff, and even the administration can help you process the information. As we move forward, the North Vancouver School District Indigenous Education Team will help guide us with this important work. We will continue to learn from members of our Indigenous communities and the elders that came before them. It is important to lift each other up during difficult times. May we continue on this journey of truth and reconciliation together and go forward with courage. Thank you for your time today.